Welcome to Outdoor Cast Iron Cooking. I'm Dean. Hi, and I'm Joni. We're here today in Lakehead, California, overlooking beautiful Lake Shasta. Today we're going to be doing seafood chowder in the Dutch oven. And it's all about good food and the great outdoors. Yes, sir, we're doing seafood chowder. Clam chowder is good, but this stuff takes clam chowder to the next level get a little bit of everything in it. First thing we do is we uh, we got to brown up some bacon. And this is the start of our base. After we get this bacon browned up a little bit, we're going to put some onions and some instant potatoes in to give us a good start to a thick base. We've added our two cups of uh, onions. We've got them browning up with the uh, bacon and now what we're going to do is we're going to add our six ounces of instant potatoes. Joan would you like to sprinkle those in there? And this this is going to be a nice start to a good thick base for this chowder. We've got the start of our base already now we're going to add the liquids got a quart of clam juice and then we got two quarts of heavy whipping cream gonna give this a nice quick stirring going to let this thicken up a bit. As soon as this base starts to thicken up, we'll add the potatoes and then the seafood. Our base is starting to thicken up, so it's time to add the potatoes. Yeah, it's looking good. We'll let those cook up a bit. We're going to add some seasoning now and uh, it's time to start adding the seafood. Put in two tablespoons of uh, Old Bay seasoning. We're adding in a pound of mixed seafood. This is the good stuff with all the squigglies in it. Putting in a pound of scallops. And a generous, generous pound of clams. We still have uh, shrimp, jumbo prawns, and crab to add to the mix, but they won't go in until a little bit later. You can kind of see that there's going to be stuff in every bite with this chowder. Well, the chowder's been simmering for a while, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the last uh, go around was uh, adding a tablespoon of ground mustard. I went ahead and put that in there, and uh, it's been simmering for a while. Now it's time to add the uh, crab and the jumbo prawns, but before we do that, we gotta take care and back our crab and crack the crab meat. I thought it would be helpful to show the people at home uh, how to back a crab. I don't think uh, that's something a whole lot of people across the nation know how to do. So, what you wanna do is grab the crab by the tail, pull his tail out. And just put your thumb right underneath there and also grab the back and you just split him open. Toss that in the garbage. Now the one thing we have to do, we have to take the lungs off and the crab butter. Now if I was cooking for myself at home, 
I'd go ahead and leave a little bit of that crab butter in there for flavoring, but uh, folks here at the gathering might get a little queasy about that, so we're going to take it all out. The reason why I wanted to show backing the crab is a lot of people when they cook crab for the first time at home they don't realize that there's a lot of meat in the body. So we crack the, the leg meat and we crack the body meat. Now it's time to add that uh, crab meat. Get this nice and stirred up here. Oh, it's looking good. Let's go ahead and dump it in, John. The final thing to go in today to the seafood chowder is two pounds of jumbo prawns. That brings us right up to the brim. This stuff is going to be good. Stuff in every bite. We'll let this simmer for like another hour and it'll be good to go. Hi, we're getting ready to fix the chowder. A lot of people enjoy having a bread with it, so we picked up some sourdough. And when you want to do it and serve it up, you could also do yourself what's called a bread bowl, where you start and you slice around at an angle all the way around. So when you're done, you have this, you hollowed it out, and you can add your chowder in here, cut up this, makes great dippings. Ah, this stuff is ready. So let's take a look to see what she looks like. Oh boy, that looks good. So we're going to do a little chowder bowl here. Remember earlier I said stuff in every bite? Oh man, look at that. Oh yeah. There we go. Bon Appetit. Okay, we're here at the potluck. We'll find out how well the seafood chowder does. Okay, we're going to ask the people what they thought of the seafood chowder. Go ahead and shine it on the crowd. What did you guys think of the seafood chowder? You're on outdoor cast iron cooking. It will be on YouTube on Monday. Well, I think they liked our uh, seafood chowder. It's been a real fun weekend with uh, wonderful friends, great food. So, for the fog crawler. And this is Joni from the great state of Jefferson. We'd like to say happy trails to you. Remember, it's all about eating good in the great outdoors. <laughs>